We have released Slough Creek Multiplayer. Yes, it's out for everybody who has Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition. And many thanks to the private beta testers who spent untold hours playtesting over and over and over over the past months, and the, all the public beta testers who over the past week or so have also put in an amazing number of hours playing and reporting bugs and helping us. We could not have gotten it to this stage without you, so thank you. So now when you're in the game and uh, start a new game, you can choose Slough Creek in the multiplayer menu. There are three modes. Story mode, that's what you choose if you want to raise pups. And we also have Pack Life and Territory Quest, which work just the same as they do in the other maps. And of course you can choose whether it's a public or private game, and you can choose from four different territory configurations. And then the one particularly special thing here with uh, story mode is the normal or accelerated time mode. Normal proceeds at the same speed basically as single player and accelerated if you want a shorter session. It's about two hours give or take. And then you can choose for major decisions whether the host decides which den to choose, when to move to a new den, or whether it's a majority rules vote. So once you get into Slough Creek multiplayer there's a couple of new things. One of them is that pups have a favorite adult. This initially is whichever player named the pup. Every player gets to name at least one pup, and uh, that pup initially will consider you their favorite adult, and they will socialize with you more, and if you're moving to a new den or rendezvous site, they will be more likely to follow you instead of other players. This favoritism is based on their fondness for you. And you do need to you know, make sure you're, you're giving them some food and socializing with them periodically to keep that fondness up, because if it drops, they might switch and choose another player as their new favorite. And if players join the game, they also might reevaluate the situation at that point, too. So as we were playtesting this, uh, one thing we noticed was really annoying is one player would be out, out and about marking or hunting and come across a carcass and wanted to share that discovery with other players. And they would just have to sit there and, uh, you know, their, their location on the map is shown so other players could find them and... Uh, and partake and that was just annoying so, so we thought about making some of the map markers to be shared and we might still do that at some point it gets tricky one of those things looks simple on the surface gets tricky when you think about it with players coming and going and that kind of thing so we did a simpler and i think probably more appealing thing actually because it's also a single player when you find a carcass howl and that will create a marker on the map and compass and uh, in single player, you can use that to find it again, because most carcasses have enough meat to last uh, more than one meal. And in multiplayer, other players will then see it on the map and compass as well. Now you have to, of course, be present in the game when another player howls in order to get that marker on your map and compass. If you join later, of course, you weren't there for the howl, and so you wouldn't know about that. But maybe the next person who goes and eats at it will howl and get it on the map for you too. Another thing that became very obvious as we were playtesting it more is that the eagle attacks just weren't very, just weren't very threatening. Uh, you know, when we first designed the eagle attacks, uh, you know, almost two years ago, and you'd switch into head cam mode and look around and try to track it and follow it and intercept it when it was swooping down to get one of your pups. But then, you know, some months later, we added the ability to woof and send their pups into the den for safety when predators attack. And so the eagle was slow enough to come around that it just wasn't, uh, wasn't much risk to them. So we have made the eagle attacks more exciting. And now when an eagle comes by looking for a pup, you'll get the alert and you can woof. And some of the pups will go into the den, but some of the pups go into panic mode and run around willy-nilly, often looking up at the eagle, trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. And that just makes the challenge a little greater for you as the parent. What else? Oh, one more change we've made. Uh, I've been doing more reading about pups' growth uh, in the summer and into the fall and got a much stronger sense that late summer is really a challenging time because the pups are growing kind of crazy fast. But there's not as much food. The newborn ungulates are up on their feet and running away from you when you chase them. And the adult prey are strong and healthy from uh, munching on really good grass all summer. So now the pups have a bigger appetite in the summer and if they get too hungry, their health drops really fast. And so you really gotta stay on top of things to ward off malnutrition. So it's time to rally the pack because Slow Creek Multiplayer is out now in version 1.0.8.